the next SQL command we're going to look at is the delete command. Now up until this point we've been talking about putting things into a table. The insert command, the update command, delete is when we want to remove things. So we're looking at the same products table as we were before here. We've got five records and what I'm going to say is I want to get rid of this iceberg list. I've decided that we're not going to sell this in our store so we're going to get rid of that one record. Now with phpMyAdmin we can use the interface and simply click on the little X here or you can click on one or more of the check boxes click the X at the bottom and as you can see by the mouse over text there the title text it's going to delete that record and that's great that's the thing that phpMyAdmin does really well is it lets you manage the database manage the tables without having to know any SQL but once we get into PHP and we start writing our code we're going to have to be able to write these commands without the PHP my main interface. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete this one record. Notice again the product ID is 5. So we'll go over to our SQL tab, delete what we have in there, and delete command, very simple. Delete from name of the table, products, that in itself we could run. However, that would delete absolutely everything in the table and there is no control Z there is no undo command for MySQL for SQL for any database there is no undo if you do not have a backed up copy of the database that table is gone so we always have to remember to add our filter at the end here the where clause where we specify something product ID that was our primary key so that is going to be the best way for us to delete this thing delete from products where product ID equals 5 that was the product ID for the iceberg lettuce I'm gonna click the go button over here and we'll run that thankfully PHP my admin does get give us a confirmed prompt to you sure you really want to do this yes alright there's our message deleted rows 1 there's the color-coded version of what we did and if I go over to browse and we look at the table you can see product ID 5 is gone now it doesn't have to be the last record you delete you can delete anything you want from this um, if we want to delete record number 2 we could do that so product ID 2 let's try this one more time select so we are going to delete from products where product ID equals 2. There we go. Same simple SQL command. I'm deleting from this products table where the product ID equals 2. I have my filter to make sure it's just the one record I delete. Click go. There's my confirm. Yes. Says it did it. Let's browse and find out. There we go. 1, 3, and 4. That's all that's left in the table. And that's the delete command.